two years later you tell me Siju your culture wants you to marry another wife. Hmm. And now and now I've killed you. Like <laughs> now you're dead. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. Because we're rich. <laughs> Uh, hello guys, welcome to another episode of Love and Other Drugs. We're your host Lilian Mwenda and V Cham Cham. Uh, welcome to today's topic that we'll be discussing about uh, relationship deal breakers. But before we get started, please guys like and subscribe to our channel. And you can also follow us on our social media pages. That is Lilian Mwen Lily Mwenda and V Cham Cham. Okay. And Love and Other Drugs. And Love and Other Drugs everywhere. Mm. Okay. So, um, so we talking today. We will be talking today about uh, relationship deal breakers. And um, before we start, babe, do you have any definition? Because I think I had one. Uh, okay. But maybe you can give us yours, like what you understand when we talk about deal breakers. Like, what is that? Oh, just mine, not a Google one. Yeah, yeah. Even yours. Maybe you are like understanding. So, mm. for me, when somebody tells me deal breakers deal breaker the thing that comes to mind is something that i ca that makes me not want to be in a relationship anymore mm -hmm. it's like the breaking point like i've tolerated all these red flags mm -hmm. and now it's a stop sign yeah for sure yeah this is now like the last nail to the coffin and you're yeah. burying and you're just like done yeah. if they do that you're you're not yeah. you're not even having a conversation for the biggest part you're just like yeah. what are we doing here yeah yeah i even like that non-negotiable oh you do <laughs> you have to be validated <laughs> yeah okay uh do you have a definition i'm gonna give my oh, you can give yours okay so my, uh, my definition of deal breakers or basically what we'd be talking about are behaviors uh attitudes uh lifestyle choices beliefs or values or lack of uh that spell the end of a relationship that spell the end of a relationship yeah did you have another one or just nope. the same thing i don't oh perfect <laughs> so uh you can go first uh you can give us your if your nigga does this we out the door boy bye so my first relationship deal breaker mm -hmm. and i think it's probably like it should be the most obvious but some people beg to disagree with me mm -hmm. nairobi girls beg to disagree with me mm -hmm. is cheating <laughs> I don't know, Is by the it? way, who, don't even trigger me, by the way, into madness right now. I don't know who convinced women that one, that a man cannot be for one woman only. Mm -hmm. Me, I don't know when it happened. I just this woke up one day and women are saying men cannot have one woman. Okay. It shocks me. Actually, it makes me really sad and mad that you can you can you can like permit cheating. In mm. a, you know how is actually the thing about cheating is that it's so much easier to cheat than to be faithful. It's for so both genders it, it, it's it, easier to cheat to than cheat like it's difficult to be faithful really it takes a lot of um self-control discipline and love and respect for your spouse but I also because people to cheat with that all over sometimes mm -hmm, they are mm -hmm. even enticing and fun and cute and mm -hmm. rich mm -hmm. you can always cheat mm -hmm. but it takes a person with strong values to commit to their i mean their spouse mm -hmm. unless you have like a uh, an, an agreed open relationship which are actually very weird to me but i don't think in, i cannot by the way personally if you cheat on me i cannot stay hmm. okay um <laughs> i know i'll trigger you with this one trigger but uh, honestly i don't necessarily feel like cheating is necessarily a deal breaker i'm not like supporting or like mm. telling people that it's okay to be cheated or to cheat on, on their spouses mm. but i feel like I think I would forgive cheating, but not cons I don't want to, not consistent. Like mm. you keep on, yeah, like you keep on like cheating continuously, mm. like you're cheating all the time. Because I know you'll bring me diseases. Who want mm. diseases? Probably. But what do you mean when you say I would forgive cheating? Because I would forgive cheating. Let me give you a scenario where I would forgive cheating. Mm -hmm. Let's say me and my man, mm -hmm. uh, huh? like. When is it? Let's say you're a man. What? No, I said me and my man. Oh, okay. Yeah. If say me and my man mm -hmm. probably were in a rough patch, mm -hmm. and then he goes to a club, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, in the heat of the moment or during that period, difficult period, mm -hmm. I don't know, he sleeps with a kabeb. There's nothing that is much that is going on between them two. It was just like a mistake. It was How like can nothing drunk. go on between them two and they have. Yeah, like nothing parts more. Who are together in fellowship. <laughs> 
no like i mean like it's not like a full blown relationship where uh -huh. he's sending money yeah. and taking care of you think the, the baby sleeping without being sent for money no <laughs> you know like this one night stands like he comes uh -huh. and tells me like uh -huh. um Hey babe, I went to the club, this what happened, mm -hmm. I asked about the details, this what happened. Like mm -hmm. they're not in a full-blown relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that I'll, I'll forgive, but if you're in an, with another babe, mm -hmm. let me not insult the camera, mm -hmm. you're with another babe, like, for like, the last one year and we've been dating now yeah. this is where we draw the line you've been taking care of her sending her money talking to her mm -hmm. every other time you're just like no yeah. no that's one i'm not gonna forget and you actually love that other person and you actually love that yeah. other person we're in our old relationship with them but like those slip ups of like one night and you're careful mm -hmm. and 100 percent, i know you are a careful person oh god probably <laughs> if i can't know, know for sure but i will yeah. take your word for it because i'm thinking i have someone with some integrity at least they're yeah. not gonna lie to me on top of cheating <laughs> So for me, if you ever slept and cheated on somebody when you were in, in a rough patch, mm. do not tell me. I cannot live with the knowledge that you cheated on me, particularly in marriage. But what if you just find out somehow? You know, sometimes you find out things, like you might take their but phone and But you see, the thing about cheating is that people don't cheat accidentally. You know, that's the thing. People cheat as a habit. Okay. Because if somebody sleeps with somebody one time, it's less likely that you'll know it. But when they start, they get used to it, they start liking to cheat. Mm. And then it comes with disrespect. It comes with emotional neglect. Mm. Actually, that's the reason why I hate cheating. It's not even yeah. It is the cheating <laughs> and everything else that comes with it. Like, yeah, for sure. And I don't want, by the way, my man, particularly like a man, to ever hear me saying that cheating is not a deal breaker for me. Because you know what they're going to do? Mm. They're going to cheat. To cheat. Okay. I okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not like hundred percent. I feel like. This is not like a cut and go for me. Like if, if you cheat on me, like I'm gone, mm. I feel we could have a, a, a whole conversation about this mm. and I will give you boundaries about this. This mm. should never happen again. But if you keep consistently cheating, then I think now it becomes a deal breaker for me. Like a one off, it's fine. If your man slept with somebody mm -hmm. and you've already forgave them, mm. in your head now you think he's never ever going to cheat. Because you said now you've had a conversation with them that they're not going to cheat I again. I want to believe that. <laughs> so I that means you actually don't condone cheating it's just that you feel like you know because i breaker, well, breaker, but, but but again you know we have to have a whole conversation about what cheating is is it just about you know or what if they just kiss someone else or probably they are liking or flirting with some other babe do you still cut them off or is it when you know but what's that the happens? intention of flirting with the other girl I and don't do know, you know, know what, what, do you know what the sometimes guy, flat you know what guys be telling the other woman hmm. at you know my wife is not even testful anymore that's what they be saying <laughs> by the way in those flats with other babes they be saying you know i i can't even stand being at my home i just <laughs> like being in your arms okay yeah it's just it's more like the consequences of you cheating Mm. that i i cannot that i'm father but, but me. to really be very fair mm. not everyone who trash talks their wives <laughs> right <laughs> you watch the young famous and african for them want to sleep with fantana he <laughs> but had not to, it has he has to make the other woman feel special so mm. he has to say he's unsatisfied with you mm. that's why he is with her even he, at asema oh my wife is a kisirani you know i have i don't <laughs> have peace at home like you you're my peace babe Okay. my other wife she's but a what, I'm, <laughs> what i'm asking is if someone you found out someone was like flirting with mm -hmm. someone or or like someone is uh, maybe kissed another baby in the club or you know something that is not like sex sex itself would you still like leave them that's that's now still warrant for they'll break i'm gone i'm tempted to say i wouldn't stay with them mm. but let me just say i've not been in that situation but i'm not preparing myself to stay in 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 like you know those kind of situations mm, okay you know. but obviously it has to be beyond reasonable doubt I, I, but i had someone say like uh, right now if like i'm dating and my man cheats on me mm. um considering that there is no nothing no higher value that is between us like mm. fam or like marriage or mm. kids it should be like cut and go it just like what else is relationship yeah 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 especially for relationship but when it comes to marriage kids finances a lot of things have been tied together family i feel like i would go for like counseling and see like where the problem is and how we can fix this i'm not gonna cut you and go so for me i don't think it's like 100 percent the breaker it is but mm. not like 100 percent. i think there are a lot of factors that come in for me 
I can't go to counseling for a cheating man. Okay, I'll because work. most times they don't even want to go to counseling with you because they don't like you. That's why they're cheating. <laughs> but the thing that is making me be so confident in the fact that I'm going to leave a cheating relationship mm -hmm. is that I'm going to have a solid prenup. If you're a rich man, there has to be a close saying. Actually, the person responsible for the marriage dissolution, maybe uh, you don't know, is like an apart financial. Pays uh, the other person. Yeah. They can have like or an alimony or people. something. Like mm. I have to have a prenup that even makes you think twice before you cheat. Mm. It, it just doesn't have to be like. Uh, and then I have to have like a clear custody mm. agreement. The, mm. the irresponsible party yeah, okay. is the one who goes on a loss. So mm -hmm. before you cheat on me and you all, and just know it if you cheat on me, it will cost you a lot of money. It will cost you a lot of money. <laughs> and it is easier for me to live because I'm living with money. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah so sure. actually, I feel like it's important for women to do that. Enter a marriage with a prenup that protects you in case the man cheats because men stay cheating. They be hoes away. Men be hoes, by the way. Okay. Yeah, I think we've really discussed that in yeah. like 10 minutes. Um, mine is abuse. I know we agree with that like 100%. Absolutely. Whether it is emotional, physical, financial. What's financial abuse? Okay, interesting. <laughs> if you well, you, really did, you shouldn't have asked me. Now oh, I'm like sorry, black. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. But if you like give me 200 and you expect a meal, that is financial <laughs> abuse. Uh, or sometimes maybe they're not uh, okay. Maybe they're asking for all your salary. They're the man of the house. They're supposed to like find, uh, you know budget for everything. Yeah. Or maybe you are straining. If your man is earning like four hundred k, me are earning fifty g's, and mm -hmm. we're supposed to pay half yeah. half. Oh, we're gonna go fifty fifty. Yeah. You know that is definitely financial abuse. Oh, or, yeah, things like anything close to True. anything that would make you really uncomfortable when it comes to finances mm -hmm. physical definitely have you ever been in a physically abusive relationship i have never i've i've been beaten in this <laughs> and i feel so sad but when you told me that story it's like okay yeah but 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 to be fair i was really really much younger i was in campo mm -hmm. i had this boyfriend it was it was quite i can't I, even I, believe you're smiling <laughs> is that a trauma response <laughs> I don't know, it was not that bad though. It to was be horrible. <laughs> and it beat me more than one time actually. It was like three or four times before I, I decided like, like, to reopen that case. So uh this is what would happen. It would like the first time he just like slapped me because we disagreed on something. And then he comes and really begs and says that he's gonna change, that he's gonna be a better man. I don't know, it was like in a span of moments and I should know that he really loved me. I was like, Yeah, I don't think it was a big deal, it was just like a slap. The other time we just like playing video games. I told you, oh mm. my god! So I won. I started laughing at him because he refused to be on my team. Oh my god! He came and like punched me, like he did my hair like this and punched me, and then he came again begging. And I would forgive all those times. It was really, really also emotionally abusive. We just like insult me. You're such mm. a horse. <laughs> Damn it! I, so I, I will say you. this to him. Mm. Oh my god! Don't, are you still talking to him? How I talked you? to him yesterday. No, please don't talk to him. <laughs> yeah, the other time he tried now to kill me, I knew this MF will just like, he was choking me and we were like, from, uh, we went out and he was like, yeah. But anyway, now of course I'm definitely older and wiser. Any man trying to even, like even if I think, yeah. like even if you're having like a conversation and watching on TV and then a, a baby is beaten and mm -hmm. then you're like agreeing with the action, you're just like, sometimes these women, they need to be, yeah. I know your red flag, yeah. I'm running away. Yeah. So me, that definitely a deal breaker. I'm running, I'm running on that one. For sure, for sure. The story is just breaking my heart. I know you are you know better right now, but it's so better. bad for the young you. And yeah. the fact that when you're young, you just think you have to be this relationship. There's just something Aww, stupid about being in camp. Oh my God. Thank God I dated a gentleman, by the way, in yeah. campus. Cause also verbal, by the way, abuse. When someone when you're like fighting with someone mm -hmm. and then they really start yeah, taking whole. low low blows, just like you used goods. Yeah. You ever call me There's that? There's an ex of mine also associated with <laughs> I can't, man. I can't you, what did he say? What? I can't tell you, it's vulgar. I can't even. I will be flagged by YouTube. <laughs> I told you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I wanted you to say it. No, I can't say it on, on you. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. If those people that will start calling you CJ Yeah, yeah you're CJ you know. Nini. You're not, yeah, yeah. If you're going to those low blows when we are fighting and yeah. we're not like having a fair fight where we are like yeah. addressing the issue and now it becomes like you like trying Insult to tell me how, how ugly I am yeah. because but you're you fighting now. You favor now <laughs> to marry me. You did me a favor, CJ. Uh, You'd have no. married a cute girl. <laughs> yeah, now those ones I'm, I'm running. Yeah, that is totally. That is just, yeah.
and also emotional what is emotional abuse emotional abuse is like when they withdraw like emotional they stop giving you like you know they stop being there for you emotionally mm. for example if you're in the house and they're not talking to you if you're sad and they don't care for you okay yeah yeah, yeah. if they actually manipulate you even that's mm. part of gaslighting oh it's yeah part of emotional yeah, abuse sure. also it's control being controlled is that another one or is this part know. of this? I just thought you were like, yeah, just know. okay, the last one before we can mm -hmm. go that one could be the yeah. next one. Eh? Also sexual abuse. Imagine mm -hmm. I've ever oh, I was talking to this okay, it didn't happen to me, please oh. don't laugh. <laughs> but um this this guy, I think I ever told you, like he was telling me like he's married and all. He would tell me like his wife would be like Geuka. Like that's the kind that's how he addresses him and he tells me like, he was telling me like that is his mali like is is entitled to it so it, it i was telling do you know actually mm -hmm. there is rape in, in marriages rape, yes. yeah he would tell me there's nothing like that mm -hmm. that is his property is paid for that so you can imagine maybe you're you're you're, you're in pain or you're having a headache or mm -hmm. you're just tired and your money has to you have to get up every night if you want it you just get it your cons consent yeah. in marriages it's like, like you you consented to sex whenever when yes. you got married yeah there's a woman who was saying i don't know it was whose channel hmm. at the they they immediately after she delivered normal delivery she even had like you know how you stitched mm -hmm. the vagina yeah. mm -hmm. when you arrive home your boobs are leaking milk they are painful your, your vagina is still painful you have not even recovered from the labor pains and the man wants to have sex with you yeah i'm just like no that's like you're a practicing rapist that is actually a rapist, you're yeah. a rapist, rapist. That's yeah. so bad. If, if someone was to do that, I think that should actually be And the funny thing is, so many women go through that. Yeah. And they don't it's say. So, yeah, it's something that is not even talked about enough yeah. because people don't believe that there could be yeah. like rape in marriages, marital True. rape. Truly, that's really sad. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like, and for me, my friends, the advice I have for them when they have, when they go through anything of that kind is just leave the relationship. Like it's not serving you in any way. Mm, just sure. there's nothing to lose even if you have children i think by the it's it's the children who grew up in violent families always end up saying they, they wish their mom had left the People relationship can parent yeah. yeah they say mm. they wish and now you, you're saying you're staying for the kids but really but you're hurting the kids people are not now. able to live if, yeah, especially maybe, when maybe. finances exactly. are involved and probably yeah. they are the sole providers mm. that is actually when abuse is actually Fred, that is yeah, why dominant. yeah that that's is why, why babes get your bag, get your bag that's why you need to subscribe to our channel because imagine when you need to get the bag <laughs> okay please yeah. we do not want to stay in bad marriages because <laughs> okay i'd rather live on the streets honestly really yes I you would leave sleep your house in Lavington. you see chicken in apple if you could have a second last night are you serious you leave I your house in lovington because your man, your man is just beating him yeah beating me before at your man is just beating you yeah he's just beating you or cheating on you <laughs> I don't because know. you're broke either that or or somebody's gonna die and <laughs> i think it's better if no one dies so yeah for sure mm -hmm. yeah you're talking about control I don't, Me. That one. I don't have that point anyway but i think we can talk about it later mm. something that i have is when somebody i don't know if it's the core values ama i'm intruding into your points now but i had written different perspectives in mm. terms of, like life perspectives mm. for example i remember we talked here on our, was it get to as episode where we mentioned about like investment mm. so there's this guy he wanted to marry me <laughs> like somebody <laughs> wanted to marry me and there's a time we were talking about like uh, our future invest <laughs> 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 like um you know like me i'm all about wealth and like wealthy husband and wealthy family so we were talking about like how we can build wealth for our family mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he told me what he wants to do is is like take a huge 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 loan and invest in a, like a huge um, real estate project mm -hmm. and you know how i feel about people who about like you know that kind of subject i'm just like that's such a big risk i don't want my husband doing this me i was more of into agribusiness because like you know we come from a place where agribusiness is really viable mm -hmm. and it's like less risk and more profit mm -hmm. and he, he refused to hear my my like my pro cons list at all mm -hmm that's when i knew i cannot date you because now you have a loan the project stalled and now you are sleeping hungry because you didn't listen to me and i'm a wise woman what do you mean that mm. also people who think uh, life is supposed to be lived minimally 
you don't want us to go to on, on vacations you don't want me to buy nice shoes for myself just because you're just obsessed with accumulating wealth and and mm. me personally i'm a person who gets satisfied with really little i don't mean poverty but i'm not a, i don't have greed by the way to accumulate g plus 10 title deeds no i don't care for that because imagine you only have a maximum of 70 years to live how much wealth do you need for for this one lifetime i feel like for me personally mm. if you're greedy to accumulate stuff i can't it just it's it, it's very off-putting for me mm. i don't know what to feel about that i really never thought about it much really yeah me me, to me when, when we had that discussion with the man so i, I don't know like, if yeah. that would exactly be a deal breaker maybe or just like we need maybe some like professional advice or mm -hmm. some financial real financial literacy so we can maybe look for that instead of like me thinking oh, okay i'm not dealing with you goodbye yeah but also or you want my kids to go to a bad school and i feel like i want my kids to go to a high-end school mm. and you're insisting because you're the man of the house okay i feel like okay. me by the way i have those conversations with most of my boyfriends I'm sounding like Funny a whore, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm gonna say. I, I just like to know that you're not my husband material for me okay yeah uh, okay for me another one is i know we've talked about this addiction mm -hmm. yeah but it's really sad okay man i it, it's okay you just go do your thing over there or go get your shit together over there but i'm not dating you if you're honestly like 100 percent addicted to whether it's alcohol look i can't, I can't imagine you coming to my house at 3 a.m mm. you you've peed on yourself you've puked everywhere and now I have to take care of you. I have to wash you. I have to do to get you to, to bed. bed. And you're coming to my bed. <laughs> I love you. You're those people that will come making noise all over in the village. <laughs> or at least in the apartment. Yeah. And everyone knows that. Oh, Bonawa, Lilian, Dosa, and Afika. I can't even imagine the embarrassment. Yeah. Why would I even be with you? Like, I can't. Mm -hmm. If you're honestly, like, 100% addicted to something, like, that hardcore addiction. Like, I drink alcohol. Uh... I said I don't like cigarettes, so that would, I would leave you before. <laughs> but if you're addicted to anything that would actually potentially like ruin our life, whether it's mm -hmm. financially or even socially, because I can imagine even socially, because who won't even to deal with you? Even our friends would start avoiding us sure. because you're the drama guy whenever we yeah. drink. Yeah, I wouldn't want that. Also, it's really strange the the finances because. Mm -hmm. Trust me, these drugs are not cheap, man. Yeah. yeah, you can imagine now. I know of guys that, uh, I think I've said this in our previous episodes, that even take loans to actually drink. Can you imagine that? Me, I know people that would go, go go to like our Kasako and they take like 15K for the weekend. So when they come, they just like be cut like 10% and now this is the, like the life. We're like broke because we're drinking every day. Me, I'm living here. We can't be. And even if you're to start drinking when you're married, mm. I will give you a grace period to get your shit together, go to rehabilitation. But if you're not doing that, no, that is not something that I'm willing to live with. Because even at the end of the day, even the relationship is start getting controlling or abusive because of all those things. There's a lot of ripple effect of actually like any substance, serious substance abuse. But what if he's putting in the work, like he's going to rehab, but every t but you know sometimes rehab can take even three years. Yeah. Okay, is the thing. I said I will give you a grace period. If, uh, if I'm to meet with you or you start drinking before you get married, of course I'm not going to marry you. Yeah. But let's say now kids okay. and we've been yeah. together for like a while. And then now you guy decide to like start drinking for whatever yeah. reason. Maybe you lost your mom and yeah. things were hard for you and you started drinking. I'll try to be really supportive probably for a certain period. Yeah. Let's say maybe like a year. You go get your shit together. And if you're not able to, I'll tell you. Yeah. Just go do it from somewhere else. Yeah. When you know you've healed or yeah. your things are better, then come back to me. Yeah. If you're not going to be able to do that, then mm, no. You gotta go. Yeah, yeah. this is so it's too much baggage for yeah, me to for carry. Sure. Yeah. Particularly if I'm carrying also our kids alone now that you're uh, yeah, yeah, because now you'll have to take much much of the responsibility mm -hmm. even of the household, of the finances, of everything, mm -hmm. even emotionally being there for your kid and your family by yourself because well, your guy somewhere with the boy is drinking every effing day. Yeah. And, no. and the way also being drunk comes with a lot of responsibility. You're the one who's most likely to be mcheled. Yeah. And now yeah. all, all and your now finances. And now you're with two women. <laughs> I have something against Gidra. I think I miss oh, the other one is Kayeli. But like now you have, you're with mcheled babes mm. in a house. Yeah. And they've yeah. stolen from you everything. 
and even just the sexual recklessness you know it's really yeah yeah people yeah. are more supp- are even more promiscuous they when they are they drunk they are just drunk mm. so no okay yours that so nice. mine involves step kids <laughs> okay Is that's a deal breaker. I uh, know I've said it involves. Oh okay. Go. I've been a step mom, you know that. <laughs> Someone at 10 20 years old they already a step mom of a teenager. <laughs> I don't have a problem dating a guy with kids. Mm-hmm. Also not more than two kids please. Because now I need to know fashionable step mom. She's like Oh yeah, she's like the perfect mom. But that's because there's money. <laughs> Me, yeah, if see. you already have two kids, there's no space for my children in this marriage But now. But they do have. They have blended family and it's like so beautiful and they have like quite a number of kids, I think. Also, they have quite an um, like, you know, quite a lot of money. When are you marrying a broke? We're not all, when are, let me tell you, we're not all going to, to marry like rich people, you know that. <laughs> okay. Are we not? Anyway. But at least me and you should. I hope so. <laughs> anyway, there's a guy I met on a dating app actually. We should talk about dating apps. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, we should. So I I met a guy on Tinder. Mm. He's like a he's so cute by the way, really cute, like six foot four. He plays basketball. Mm. He's an architect. That like, is a handsome man. Cute with him being out six foot six yeah, foot he's four. Like, he's all that. He's <laughs> he's who he thinks he is. He was like he was really cute, romantic cute to me. I think hours. he took me out to a movie. Like immediately I met him. You know he was like these guys who are like really great the first date is awesome mm. nini nini mm. but now he had a kid with a girl mm. of course with a girl <laughs> could be with but another now man when they when the relationship ended i think they had like a falling off uh, yeah a, a fight about custody of the girl the baby was like eight months old at that time when i was meeting him mm. i don't know if it was like eight months or like one and a half years just like a, 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 an infant mm. So when I met him I was like in the middle of the custody battle. You know why? Mm. At he wants to have bad custody of the child. Mm. Not even because he's like in the best position to take care of a kid because you just know men are not natural mm. and he's a bachelor. Mm. He just wants to prove a point to the baby mama that he's going to win in court and he told me that. He told me he knows the judge. He has already bribed him. Mm. And I felt so bad for that girl because I told him now when that baby comes who's crying and wants to breastfeed what are you going to do with that baby? Mm. Just because you want to prove that you're superior to the baby, and actually I follow that baby mama on Instagram. Shout out to you. She looks like a very cool person. I could just tell the relationship didn't end because of her. And also he's the mama's boy. I really hope he doesn't touch up because because you can beat me. <laughs> <laughs> you would definitely like, not. Yeah, watch. I just felt how he treated those kids, and I imagined myself if I were the one like who now has broken up with him, and we have a child, and he wants to snatch them from me. Eight mm. month old. Mm-hmm. No. You gotta go. Okay. So, so, so basically, what is the de- what is the the deal breaker there? The deal breaker is uh, if I had written neglecting stay? like uh, the dynamic with with uh, oh, oh. Um, other kids mm. with his kids. Yeah. Okay. It means actually he's re- he's putting his interest before the kids' interest. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Another deal breaker is when your partner requires you to sacrifice your life goals or ambitions just for the heck of it just like i don't like you being in the limelight and i want to create content so sir what do we do about this <laughs> or probably they tell me that they want me to be a stay at home mom because we have to take care of our kids mm. like sir no like i can't just give up on everything that i've ever dreamed of and just because just because you want me to mm. so if you really want me to sacrifice everything without even like a, a really really good reason for it i i, I think i would just leave it but what's that good enough reason to sacrifice your life maybe we it goes to work in uk like <laughs> don't and, say <laughs> yeah <laughs> and and now probably i'm not able to maybe like work here in kenya yeah. and is getting enough like five times of whatever he was even making here and he can take care of us maybe probably i would consider that but not just for the heck of it it's just like no stay at home yeah. yeah probably i think we could have conversation about it but yeah, if he's too. really reluctant about like no you have to do this mm-hmm. I, i think no i'll not goodbye for, for one reason people who like usually want you to quit Obviously, but, yeah, they want to control you for and sure. they want to abuse you and abuse you yeah. for sure. So no, I'm not when you have options, even if you're paying me. I'm not, I don't want to work for you. <laughs> I want to work outside. Okay. I think I would work for you. So, 
That's I you, you know how much bed. power that is giving. Do you know how women <laughs> like women so become cute. so oblivious and then you forget that men are to be feared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to men to and you guys think people say fear men for no reason? Mm. They also say mm. fear women though. A man can you bow court? A man will live in the desert without water. Without water, and, and yo. He, yeah, and he's watching you. <laughs> but because I know men who are millionaires and they're not taking care of their kids. A mm. kid who just needs 50k for school fees. Mm. Nahalipi. Mm. And he doesn't feel shit about it. Mm -mm. So, eh, men are not to be played with, by the way. Yeah. Um, so, another thing that I consider a deal breaker is religious differences. For example, I feel like I, I, I subscribe to Christianity, particularly I'm Protestant, and I just feel like in order to uncomplicate my life, I would rather not be involved with somebody of a different religion, sometimes even different denomination. <laughs> Because, yeah, because I think particularly for like most Islam, it's just, I, I don't know how I'm going to blend into that, yeah. But also in denomination, uh, SD, I don't know, I cannot go to church on Saturday. Not that there's something wrong with it, but I'm not used to that. And then I know it's just going to bring so much conflict, unless you're willing to budge, because I'm not willing to budge. And, and part of that, religion, uh, I, my point was religious and cultural inclinations if my man believes in culture as the bible truth and life i just know that our, our relationship is not going to be healthy because i particularly feel like there are so many holes i poke in our cultural beliefs that i i cannot live with Sijui, i have a, a teenage boy who is supposed to be circumcised and you want him to go and and i don't know go into the cave as a right of ins not my baby boy my baby boy is being circumcised in nairobi hospital like no, you cannot do that, my baby. Also, two two years later, you tell me, Siji, your culture wants you to marry another wife, hmm. and now and now I've killed you. Like <laughs> now you're dead. Now and you're I've dead. I've inherited now you're everything dead. because you are rich. <laughs> <laughs> like I'd rather I'd rather not. If I feel like somebody has really strong ties to culture and stuff, hmm. find somebody else to do it. Yeah, I gotta find someone else. <laughs> I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. Okay, you know it's just know. like I don't mind. I, I don't. You've really never thought about like, it. Say that. I, probably. You're a Muslim. I think so. I've dated a Muslim. And then you you just be the you you you're used to being a shower your whole life, and now all of it's, a sudden it, your life it's is him being a Muslim interfering with me being a shower. Because I don't think they are allowed to have women who are like you know. But he, he was dating me, so I don't know, and I never like had to dress like differently. That's because you are the nini. Okay, please. <laughs> That's because Don't. you are a girlfriend. You are not at your wife wife. Oh, okay. Yeah. You okay. thought I said what? Okay, no. The S one. S one is what? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. But okay. Um, the next. Okay, the next one for me is um. Hmm. So have you? Okay. Is someone who dislikes my friends, my family. <laughs> Just anyone, you know that those people like that, my God, they can't even stand you being with your family or your friends, or they're just like having issues with everyone. And I always feel like whenever that starts, when someone wants to isolate you from like your friends and your family, mm -hmm. is because they actually want to control you, they're mostly narcissists, yeah. and they want to like be abuse you, and now you do not have anyone else to run to, you mm -hmm. just now have to stay in that abusive yeah. relationship. So anyone wanting to isolate me from people that I really care about or really cares about me because I know like my siblings and my parents mm. genuinely 100% they have no anything mm. against like they would want anything bad to happen yeah. to me so why would you why don't you like them yeah. and I like them you're supposed to even like people by virtue yeah, of me liking like them. them yeah if it's my friends and genuinely and it's not like when any or anything mm -hmm. and they really like me so anyone who wants to isolate me from my family or people that genuinely care about me we have a problem also i was saying i think about friends mm -hmm. like if you do not have a reason for me not to be friends with vivian and of course i would say a valid reason mm -hmm. if she makes me go to drink every saturday That's and not introduce reason. me to my brothers <laughs> maybe that will make sense yeah but like if it's if it's just for the sake of it you just don't like my friends you don't want me hanging out with my colleagues or my family i you gotta go it's you gotta go you're the problem here how about guys who don't seem to have any family or friends around them 
I would want to watch the story. I would yeah. want to know what the story. Because I know some also but some families can be like abusive. You. Oh, your family is abusive. Also, coincidentally, your friends are abusive. <laughs> so I understand sometimes people have valid reasons to cut family off. Yeah. But sometimes I just feel like you you not having a community but around you, you mm. it it also gives me anxiety because the dream that I have to for a family that I want to have mm. is a family that is surrounded by like love mm. and family and family friends, you know. Mm. Me me I'm those people who want to go like for couple vacation together. Yeah. yeah. Like I we are cooking we together, our kids are you know, yeah, our kids are even in drama together, we're going to watch our kids. Yeah, That's what I want. But now if it's just you, I'm just getting you. Or oh, they don't. They, uh, also, what about those who do not introduce you? Do not want to introduce even to their friends. It just <laughs> oh, that one. You just know you're a side chick. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is married. Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Leave him alone. Uh, yeah. But men have audacity. Imagine they be having a whole life. <laughs> They're introducing you to their family. Yeah. yeah to their mom. Sure. Like yeah, me and I have a cousin. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. You be spilling the tea. Yeah. <laughs> but they can't know who it is. I think I, maybe it's not even like one, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, like counting. they have a wife and then they come to a function with yeah. another babe. Yeah, he did that. He brought a whole babe. It, okay, if I say w w what function mm. it was, they will know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So something else that I have. Okay, we had already talked about emotional neglects. Mm. What I want to talk about, and it's a bit trivial, mm. is if you get a midlife crisis whilst we are in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you're 40 and now you want to be an influencer. <laughs> mm. No, we better go. <laughs> Come <laughs> on, man! You're not leaving a man because of that. Yeah, it makes me so uncomfortable and cringe. And now you're I'm asking people to subscribe to that. your music videos, and you sing badly. I'm not. You are leaving them for that, babe. We're talking about deal breakers. We are talking about you pick your things in a home that you've been but in for the last fifteen now, minutes. Now, my, now, 15 now years, my man. husband has insisted that. You know, that's the choice he wants to do. He wants to quit his job to become a magician. Like, feel <laughs> like the modern family. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I don't when think I it's like an immediate immediate deal breaker, mm. but it would make me so uncomfortable. You are, you'll, um, you'll embarrass me out of that relationship. Ama, you start wearing sunglasses and you're 40 like. <laughs> but sunglasses are this chick. Please, someone come collect her. <laughs> <laughs> You'll embarrass what me out of that relationship. Look at her. I will not live, live like, oh, now you know. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know if I'm going to stay, honestly, so long. Mm. Unless okay. you cure it immediately. Okay, uh, I think also another deal breaker is um, they do not prioritize you. Like, it's work, it's boys, it's going out with boys, it's mm. going out to do with colleagues where you, you are never like nowhere. Mm. So do matter they, they have gone home with their, to stay with, to do their sister because do what is happening. Like, you never like mm. a priority in their life, even if you could be going through something, but mm. probably their boy is, I don't know, just want someone to chill with. Yeah. They call your man, your man is the one who is just like always, no. I, you're, I'm gonna you're mourning a family member, but now your man wants to go. Uh, with the game. boys for vacation or yeah. for games yeah uh -huh. no it honestly your, ma your man doesn't like you yeah yeah <laughs> and a lot of people actually in marriages and relationships yeah, your husband hates you <laughs> yeah can you imagine you don't even like you don't want to even chill with you oh. right and then the guy is the guy even when people have been asked they can work from home if they want <laughs> yeah they, they refuse to, yeah I honestly watched another story of someone like that. During COVID time, yeah. they were told to work from home. He would like insist he wants to go to work. And work is not like 30 minutes away. It's like I think it was, they were saying it's like two or three hours drive to work. But you'd prefer bank that gas, yeah. go sit in the office alone because he can't stand you. Yeah. Oh and he God. says, and all the colleagues knew that he doesn't like his wife. So he just says, ah, yeah, that, that's how Philip is doesn't like his wife so but why are men like that do you know also statistics say that most i think like over 70 percent of divorces are initiated by women yeah. you know why because a man would frustrate you into killing yourself but exactly. he will never ask for a divorce like that guy who doesn't want his wife also they just know if you leave if if they if they make the relationship end the benefits of you the side benefits of you being their wife you know being a wife like you're also their mom mm. you're the housekeeper mm. you're the chef they know mm. all the all the benefits will go, will go and it. then they're not feeling any in fact if if you're the one who's cheating then you're not feeling them 
mm. like the you're not feeling the downside of the, mm. the relationship because after yeah. you're having it twice yeah, so for sure Hey, a man would frustrate you into divorcing him and then society will blame you for it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm. Also, another one. You miss someone you finished yours? Yeah. Okay. Another one is cross hygiene. <laughs> I know I talk about hygiene a lot, honestly. Mm. <sighs> I can't I can't imagine spending the rest of my of my life with someone who don't want to take showers every day who who, who I can't even kiss comfortably because when their mouths <laughs> But I'm trying to imagine if you dated them okay, or is yeah. that in dating okay no uh, okay dead breaker huh? is that in <laughs> or maybe they just became to you know like the way people say they are chillier themselves at some point it's just like it's whatever 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 goes it's just like um like basically yeah. people that are not taking care of themselves mm. uh they could just like relax but anyway no 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 for real like if you don't take care of themselves you're just like eating shit you're not yeah. like working out you're not even like taking a shower mm. you can't even like do good grooming honestly i don't even think there's an issue with that but mm. to be honest i don't think i'll just exactly be with you like i want you to take care of, the, of yourself mm. somehow like so me what i would do in that situation obviously i wouldn't stay in the long run if it persists mm. but i would try to analyze like what is the root cause like what's making you you know sleep away like that maybe the guy is depressed or yeah like it could be depression yeah there's some sort of psycho psychosocial support that he requires from yeah. me or from like a, a professional mm. i would explore that path first before i leave you mm. but i'm not living with stinky johnny yeah ex <laughs> exactly that's what i'm saying mm. like of course uh before you just like run yeah, you're yeah. gonna start maybe like have a conversation about it tell them mm -hmm. like i'm not comfortable with all this mm -hmm. but if honest they're not changing now imagine mm -hmm. the rest of your life you get to your bed stinky mm -hmm. zone is there you can't even kiss them and all the that who says conjugal rights are a must. yeah yeah a must a must <laughs> yeah also what would, you, mm -hmm. what would you do if your husband now tells you uh, that is another woman <laughs> I, I don't even think there's anything about me that ma would make a man comfortable to tell me some shit. <laughs> I would even question myself, like, mm. what even makes you know, you know, mm. could I, there's something that someone will tell you, and you're like, what about, what about me? me that made you comfortable to yeah. tell me some shit like that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I would even like go question myself, like, how did he get so comfortable to tell me things like that? Mm. But of course, I'm gonna leave you for that. But what if he asks you for? He tells you, "Baby, I feel like our relationship has become so boring." Mm. And I was suggesting mm. we like have a threesome one, one once in a while, or we open the relationship. I'm gonna so have the threesome. Is it with another girl? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> as Damn. long as you don't fall in love with her, you don't ask for a number or nothing. But else. how do you control those things? Falling yeah, in we'll love. be there. Or oh, maybe choose. I'm the one to choose and bring her. And anyway, I don't know. So I it really means the one who's been cheating because if you say you're the one who's choosing, <laughs> but we are together in this. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah I don't know. I, I don't think that would be exactly you a deal breaker that for me. Plus, baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, people that lie or they're unreliable. I get so triggered when someone even lies over the very petty things. <laughs> you say you're gonna take me for dinner and you don't take me for dinner. No, I'm just, or, or someone tells you like, hey, don't sleep, I'll call you. No, me, I'm t at 10, 2 a.m. there, I'm just I'm like, like <laughs> <laughs> I'm a <demo>. Why? <laughs> Why did you tell me you'll call me? And, and yeah, you're yeah, you, for no reason. Because me, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't point you at gunpoint in Kakombia. Uh, call me to Call tonight. me, uh -huh. Well, when you call me, you tell me like, hey, babe, I'll call you. Today. I'll call you. Don't go to bed. We'll have to talk. So me, I'm there. 2 a.m. <laughs> I'm rocking myself there, waiting for that. Because I, cause I call don't me. sleep, and then you call me, and I miss. <laughs> I really wanted to talk to you. You know, like when someone tells you they will call you, you just look forward to I that know, call because you care about that person. Yeah. Now I you saw, keep I on doing another shit video, like uh, that. Another TikTok video, T. At you told your friends not to to leave for you dinner because your man is taking you out. <laughs> And now it's two AM <laughs> and you're there. Yes, you letting for him and you're hungry. Yeah, can you imagine? Mm. And it's just very something kiddo go because mm. come on, can't how much is food. But yeah. now you're here waiting for your man. You know you can't rely on him. Ah uh, my, my God. anger issues be rising like when yeah, I'm working, I cannot. I'm just I love who is consistent with that yeah. now. You just like keep on and it's just like what is the big deal? Surely a call. Yeah. Or do you say you wouldn't do something and then you do it again? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I hear it's like people that either it's lying or it's being unreliable. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but me, I cannot yeah. stand. Like if you don't plan to do with me, I, I sometimes don't like ask or 
I don't beg people to do things for me because mm. I don't want you to say yes for the heck of yeah. it. But now you, you're offering to say that you're going to do something and you don't do it. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I think Kata Mimi, that is just about it. Of course, we said disagreeing on core values. Yeah. Uh, you told me core values are like probably fidelity. It's just like, no, we can see other people. Like, no, we can't see other like, people. For example, the, the way you said, um, you said there's like hardcore cheating and like soft cheating. Mm. So you feel like if somebody soft cheats on you, mm. you can negotiate it. And probably me, I feel mm. like if yeah. the cheat is like that yeah so if, you, if you disagree on like fundamental principles and virtues that you maybe want to live by mm -hmm. or maybe the man wants like to be anataka kwa mama kanisa uko siju you must go to church and then you, you don't you, you just you're the one who on sunday una lalavi kwa duve uki watch tv church church service <laughs> yeah I, I feel like those could could really like yeah strain on the relationship also those people that are always unwilling to communicate or compromise it just your way or the highway so we are I'm triggered yeah we just like i'm those okay. people <laughs> you're those people it's your way or the highway right. but sometimes it just happens that i'm always right it's like your idea your is fine i am accommodating your idea this one, your but you're wrong babe <laughs> <laughs> it can't be like you're always right you can compromise on some things okay can, you can uh, like even can have a, converse, a conversation about things it's just like mm -hmm. when you're pissed you just shut down and you're not talking and mm -hmm. someone is talking to you and then you're just also that's part of emotional nini abuse yeah yeah stonewalling mm. also also yeah uh, on that also people that are neglect also or apathy yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah 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 absolutely if people are just doing those things mm -hmm. i i think and and you're trying to actually have a conversation about it and they refuse to actually listen to you i think it's just like time you need to you can imagine your whole life you just that oh my yeah. god your man cannot compromise on things Anything. just the man of the relationship yeah. you just you know there are those men that believe that you you you're not their partner like i think we're yeah, there's a body let me not drag our old tribe but <laughs> <laughs> we are just inches away from being cancelled we are yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know that those men that actually you can't like tell them they're just like so chauvinistic it's just like mm. what are you telling them it's just yeah. like they're the ones to make all the men are like key. that by the way my tribe my tribe i wanted men. to say that but you told i just mm, thought like, let uh, me not drag the old oh my god no but I, I i don't i feel like probably the more traditional ones yeah, i think yeah 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 if it's like that then i don't think we can have a relationship there i may want more mm. of partnership not just like you telling me yeah. i'm not a kid you gotta tell me even kids actually sometimes like I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not living by traditional values yeah for sure you, yeah yeah okay anyway i hope you guys enjoyed please share with us your deal breakers is cheating a deal breaker please let us know cheating has to be a deal breaker <laughs> is it though okay, i can't believe you're saying that no i don't with generally. a pretty face <laughs> you're just inviting your your future husband to cheat on you because you've said Babe, on, if on you watch YouTube, this i'm not saying said you. on youtube that cheating is not a deal breaker. Will come and, and, show and me. women like those and like you are enablers of cheating because you're teaching men but i also can cheat we're saying that Timo is only cheating i can also cheat and expect him to forgive <laughs> i would expect you if you go to a club and i i, I kiss Cutting someone has dropped for you <laughs> like i wow. want him to wow. <laughs> what Ow. getting the slow claps <laughs> But you know, I, I don't mean it just like him. Honestly, I could also fuck up someone and I would want him to forgive me. I don't want if him I to just cut me. Just you, like, by the way. Mm. If you cheated on me. Ah, okay, if you cheated. I'm not cheat. Just don't cheat though. Anyway, uh, I think that's just about it. We end the, the episode here. Thank you guys for watching up to the end. Uh, uh, what else? Please subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram particularly at vchamcham at love and other drugs ke and Lily Moenda underscore that is actually also on TikTok and Twitter we Twitter tweet, by the way, a lot yeah, we do we love <laughs> tweeting nowadays we discover that we love tweeting yes so, also yeah. subscribe to our YouTube channel please mm. like share mm. with your friends <laughs> share with your family your mm. sisters anyone that you think would enjoy this because they Even will those, yeah definitely they will yeah like for sure yeah anyway that's just about it ciao ciao. <laughs>